So we know when we've done the knee examination that at each point we need to both look for a patella tap, but also do the sweep test. Let's actually go through now as to why that matters. In terms of doing any assessment for an effusion in the knee, you've normally got about two mils or less of synovial fluid within the joint. However, if we get a synovitis, such as uh, an inf uh, inflammatory uh, joint problem like rheumatoid arthritis, we can get an increased fluid production in the knee. So that might result in maybe five mils of fluid within the knee. That may become um, detectable with a, uh, a patella tap. If we get even more fluid within the knee, such as, for example, a hemarthrosis, then that may become detectable with the sweep test because it's all about different levels of fluid within the knee. So to begin that, we're obviously going to gel our hands and then gain a consent. My name is Dr. Gill. Could I please confirm my name and date of birth? It's on the salary for the priority Super, thank you. So which knee is the one you have a problem with at the moment? Super. So we're going to get the patient to expose their knees for me. And we're going to start off looking for asymmetry. So it's the difference between one knee or the other. We know that the left one is uh, more uncomfortable than the other. So we're going to start on the opposite side. So I can't see any issues. So for the patella tap, I'm going to milk down and then coming up. And I'm going to tap with my thumb like so. We've got no issues, so we're going to move to the opposite side. And I am pushing down, so I'm milking the superpatella pouch down towards the knee. So fluid should hopefully go into the kneecap. And if there's a fluid there, it should bring the patella off the femoral condyle. I'm coming up with my other hand and I'm tapping down on the patella. Now, when I do with the pressure removed, when I do press on the patella, there's an element of movement at the patella. That's still a negative test. For a positive test, we're looking for the patella to actually move down and tap on the femoral condyle. So very much, you're going to feel that sound through your fingers. The movement doesn't show you've got excess fluid. And that's where the patella tap comes in as an examination test. As the fluid forms within the joint, the patella will float up and allow us to get that positive finding. In terms of a healthy joint, we've normally got about two mils of fluid within the joint. If we get a, a synovitis, uh, an arthritis, an irritation to the joint, that fluid will increase. And when we've got about three to five mils of fluid within the knee, the patella tap will become positive. The next test that we're going to do, the sweep test, will become positive when we've got even more fluid within the knee. So starting off on the, uh, the opposite leg, we're going to sweep up, bring round and down. And as we do so, we're looking to see if a bulge appears here. We'll do it on this side. So bringing that up, around and through, and then seeing if we get a bulge here, which we haven't, so we've got a negative test. We might get a, uh, a positive patella tap if we're dealing with, um, I say, straightforward joint effusions, whereas the bulge test might be more positive if we've got large amounts of fluid in the knee, for example, a hemarthrosis from perhaps trauma, uh, fractures, damage to the ligaments, or if we've got an infection in the knee, such as a septic arthritis, or potentially something like a, a, a gout causing inflammation in the knee.